take the example of someone who's built a you know a, a store a store and a brand that's essentially selling you know branded apparel maybe some printed some print on demand stuff maybe maybe you know a hybrid of, of, of also selling some other products as well like not necessarily building a singular company like like skinny me tea because a lot of our audience are still in that process of, of testing a lot of different products like what's it what's an influencer strategy so say but then you, so say you find a product that works and you have you're building a brand sort of around um a, a, a niche that that you're selling this product in your brand associated with it what's a good first step for people at that stage to to, to do a really valuable test for influencer marketing I think even before that stage, while they're still in the testing stage, a few of the companies that I've been working with have been in this testing stage, have just been, you know, potentially still just drop shipping a product before they work out that it's worth uh, pursuing and then getting manufactured themselves. And it's been an amazing way for them to be able to create native platform native content at scale. So they've used influencer marketing more so as a content generation machine. So rather than, um, you know, paying a photographer to do a shoot or, you know, just getting your friends to like create video content for your brand or something, influencers are really, really skilled content creators. And one way that you can do it, um, at least a few of them that have been using Hay to do it, has they've been creating just product for content posts. So rather than a product for post, uh, where you'd gift an influencer your product and they'd post on it in return, you gift the influencer the product that you're testing out and then they create whatever type of content, like say whether that's video content or, you know, still imagery, whatever else, gifts, um, memes, whatever you want created for your brand. And it's and because they're recognisable figures as well at the same time, that social proof element is able to really, really help in kind of that content creation stage as well, being able to, you know, tag the influencers in and kind of whether you do end up paying them to promote that to their audience as well and being able to kind of, you know, at least on Facebook retarget to that audience too. So there's a lot of different ways and I think that it can start at that testing stage in terms of content. Um, and then you're able to move into, as soon as you do have a brand um, or, you know, you do have that focus, um, probably a campaign that I would think of starting out with would be, well, there's, to me, at least on Hay, we say that the four kind of main goals that most brands have in influencer marketing when they're starting out are brand awareness, uh, driving sales, obviously, uh, increasing your social following and content. So if you think about those goals and you think about the campaigns that you're able to run to work backward or reverse engineer from those goals to achieve success, just like in any marketing, I guess. So yeah. if you think about the goal and work backward from that goal to form the strategy, then you're able to kind of see the different types of campaigns that you can run. So for a brand awareness campaign, which is often a really good starting point for a brand, it could be sending out product at scale for um, gifting to influencers and uh, just literally just a product for post campaign. With content, like we just spoke about, it could be product for content. Uh, and they don't have to post at all. Although sometimes because they've created great content for your brand and they're proud of the content they've created, they end up posting it anyway. Mm. So it's kind of a double win there sometimes. Uh, with growing a social following, uh, giveaways are usually the best kind of way to drive that because they have very clear call to actions in the campaigns. And again, call to actions in any of these campaign styles, uh, you know, they're going to drive results a lot more than not having one. Um, so a giveaway, maybe like a tag to win competition is another really good way to start on that platform. Like you might want to be getting into influencer marketing and into Instagram marketing at a similar time. So you could use your influencer marketing campaign to kind of explode the initial growth of your account. So for example, one of my friend's brands recently launched, um, it's called Bambi Boutique in New Zealand. Um, and they grew from, they gave away three beauty packs worth $2,500 each. And they worked with three different macro, very macro influencers, like around a million followers each. Okay. But they, yeah. that was a large campaign. However, they grew from 
4,000 to 168,000 followers in one week. So they grew by over 150,000 followers in a week. So I mean, like people are worried about Instagram thinking like, it's not a, you know, you're not able to achieve the same results as you used to, whatever else. Like these examples, while they're not always all that easy to replicate, are an incredible example of the way that you still can explode your growth and it is possible. So if you know something's possible, like you're of course much more likely to push to achieve it. So they're kind of, and then with a sales generation campaign, a really good way to just test out whether influencer marketing is working for you and test things like diminishing returns if you're purchasing multiple posts um, is just creating unique personalised discount codes for the influencers to use with their followers. And then if you can see that it is generating sales and they are bringing in you know, revenue for your company, you can see that that's worth reinvesting in. Very cool. And now, now to track this, you're just basically you're mainly using UTM parameters in the in the links in the bio. Is that accurate? Yeah. So there's a few different tracking techniques. I mean, obviously the discount codes are one way that you can yeah. track. I would say for each one of those that we just spoke about. So for each goal, so content, following, sales.